Click on the IP range deny list example, then get rid of the allow block. In the deny block, let's replace the template resource value with the ARN of our get method. Consider this, you have a REST API deployed with the Amazon API gateway, and now you want to restrict access to it using a resource policy. Can you do this using the AWS console? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then scroll down to the code source section. Click on the test button, then hit invoke to execute your Lambda function and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the execution logs. Next, let's head to the API Gateway service, click Create API, then hit Build in the REST API section. Give your API a name, hit Create, then choose Create Method from the Actions dropdown. Select Get, ensure that the integration type is set to Lambda function, then select the Lambda function that we just created. Hit Save, then click on the test button to test your get method. Confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the response body. Now that our API is working as expected, let's deploy it by going to the actions dropdown, then hit deploy API. Here, I'm going to create a new deployment stage called prod, then hit deploy. Next, let's navigate to the EC2 service Hit Launch Instance, then give your instance a name. Select an instance type and a key pair, then hit the Launch Instance button. Click on Instances to navigate to the EC2 dashboard, then confirm that your instance is in pending state. Give it some time for the instance state to change to running, then select the instance and click on the Connect button. Here. I'm going to SSH into my instance using EC2 Instance Connect. Next, let's use the curl command to access our invoke URL and confirm that we see hello from Lambda in the response output. Now, let's navigate back to the API Gateway tab and click on Resource Policy in the left menu. Here, I'm going to create a policy to deny my EC2 instance from accessing our API using IP address. Click on the IP range deny list example, then get rid of the allow block. In the deny block, let's replace the template resource value with the ARN of our get method. Next, let's grab the IP address of our EC2 instance. Start by typing the hostname hyphen F command to grab the fully qualified host name of our EC2 instance. Now type nslookup followed by the fully qualified host name to get the IP address. Let's copy this IP and paste it in the AWS source IP section by replacing its template value. Now this policy will prevent our EC2 instance from accessing our get method. Next, we need to redeploy this API for the resource policy to take effect. Let's select the same prod deployment stage, then click on the deploy button. Give it a few minutes for the change to propagate, then head back to the EC2 instance connect tab and rerun the curl command. This time, you should see an error message saying user is not authorized to perform execute API action on this API. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the API gateway refuse to go on vacation? <laughs>